Tom Brady, the newest big time free agent in the media TV market, has his first game on Fox, the Dallas Cowboys, Cleveland Browns. Guess where Tom Brady won't be? In production meetings. He won't be walking around Practice. Cleveland's facilities. He won't be allowed to do certain things that actually make you good at the job while taking Greg Olson's spot as the number one color commentator, Freddie T. Like, this is messy because he wants to be an owner. That is pending. And so now he actually can't have the full function of doing that job. I think the one thing that Tom has always been great at, and we can all attest to it, is his decision making. This would probably be one of the tougher decisions he has to make. I mean, you got 300 million over here waiting on you. And then you have an opportunity to become an owner in a franchise that ain't going nowhere. Like he can pass that down to his kids, 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 right? On the very lowest level and uh, create, you know, some real wealth for his family because the value of these teams are only, they're gonna just continue to uh, increase and rise. Yeah. So Tom has a decision to make. This is probably one of the first time this situation has ever come up. Yeah. You know, you have a guy who the networks are glamoring to have him participate on their network. And I think they believe that will also increase their ratings. And then on the flip side, you have a guy who's passionate about ownership. He's bounced around. He has the, the speedboat team. Mm -hmm. And I believe he's invested in a, in a soccer club as well in, in, in Europe. And then he has, you know, the Raiders there. So TV, you got to make a decision, bro, because <laughs> them owners will lock you out. Uh, when they get together, they get together. And they don't mess around. I sound like the curmudgeon of the crew and say it makes perfect sense. You're an owner of a team, and now you're going into other facilities of that yeah. team a, that you could play. It's the right rule. It is the right rule. Everybody's like, oh, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't correlate. This is one of those things that do correlate. If I own the Raiders and I know there's an angle I can see when I'm walking through, I'm walking past the Browns training room, and I see a guy with his ankle wrap. My ownership group now can tell the coaching staff, oh, man, this dude ankle ain't right. Let's, let's go at him to first play the game and see if he's healthy. So the decision is perfect. It's a great problem to have on Tom Brady that somebody wants to give you a quarter billion dollars or you can give somebody else a quarter billion dollars. It's a great thing to do. Tom, I commend you because I would say I gave you some of that money, Tom. But I do agree on the decision that he can't do both. RC, what was the other thing? Practice, production meeting. I know they said he can't criticize the refs. You can't, you can't criticize the official or the league. Right. Tom Brady is going to have to, for the first time in his life, choose selfishness. Right? And he's also going to have to choose to not fully 100% be invested in the job. Tom Brady is taking over for Greg Olson, who right now is arguably the best color commentator in the world, right? He just won the Emmy for in-game performance. Yeah. And now Greg Olson got demoted just because Tom Brady's name is Tom Brady. Not to say that he won't be good, but Greg Olson didn't get demoted because he can't do the job. And so now Tom Brady can't go to that production meeting and get close to that quarterback and really talk to him about what's going on in his head or talk to that head coach and know exactly the way that they're working and they're moving around at practice or some of the intimate things that he might be able to share with us because he learned those within the building, mm -hmm. right? How do I know if what Tom Brady is saying about the officials is real when there's a limitation and a restriction on what he could say about the officials? How do I know what Tom Brady is saying about the league is real when there's a limitation on what he can do or say about the NFL based on his pending ownership or if he gets an opportunity to be part owner, right, his ownership in the Las Vegas Raiders? How do I know that when you're talking about Antonio Pierce, you aren't sugarcoating something mm -hmm. so you can be nice to your head coach or you aren't being inflammatory in some way so now you affect the perception of him and he can no longer have his job because maybe you want to get Josh McDaniels back in there or some other New England Patriot coach. Mm -hmm. There's so much that goes into this that I think is going to taint the perception of who he is when it comes to doing his job. And I still can't say to him, I wouldn't do both. Mm -hmm. If I could be an owner, I would be an owner. Yeah. And if while being an owner, my level of greatness as a quarterback was so good, they wanted to pay me $37 million a year to show up 18 times or however 20 times, however many times he got to show up and talk about football and have to do it with less work because I can't go do the other extra work anyway. I got to just pop up on the film I watched. Mm -hmm. Like Tom Brady is going to have to make a decision 
if he's okay with the perception that he's not 100% all in on his job. Because football Tom Brady took lesser deals. Yep. Football Tom Brady thought team over me. Will retirement Tom Brady say, nope, I want to be an owner, and yep, I want this $37 million too. I'm going to do both. I would. Ten years ain't that long. TB, buy that team and go fishing. 